If you're anything like me, you're a little bit OCD about how you organize your project. And that's a good thing when it comes to video editing. When you're dealing with that many files, like you've got music, you've got sound effects, you've got your video, you've got your project files. You need to keep all of those organized so that you know where they are and you can easily locate them and find them when you need them. If you wanna go back and open up any of your previous projects, best if all the files that are involved in that project are also all contained to one area. Finally, the last downside is that if you don't organize your project, it's just gonna take you twice as long to edit it because you're gonna to have to constantly be going trying to find out where everything is. If you keep everything in one spot, you know where it is, you can easily go there and easily bring it into your edit. Let's jump into a few tools and tricks that I've learned over the past eight plus years of editing that I use on a daily basis in order to organize my projects, collaborate with other people, uh, and work with clients. So the first step before you even get into organizing your actual project file is that you need to make sure the files are organized on your computer. The best way that I've learned how to do this is by using a free program called PostHaste. PostHaste is a project management tool that allows you to set up file and folder templates for all of your projects. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up PostHaste real quick and show you how it works. To start off, you're just gonna go to this new project window and I've already got a project template that I made input here. It's got a few parameters that it's gonna to use to name your file. It's got the date, which will auto update, project number, client name, project name, and editor name. You don't need to input stuff in all of these. Sometimes I just leave them blank because I don't need all of the information in there, but it gives you the option to add it if you want to. And if you look down here in the bottom left where it says preview, that's gonna tell you what your outermost file is named. So before I hit create project down here, I'm actually gonna go over to this templates tab and I'm just gonna show you what's inside of the template that I've created. If you click on the RPM video editing template over here, you can see uh, the folder structure that it's gonna create. So basically inside of that main folder that we just created, you're gonna have these three subfolders, which is one production, two post, and three delivery. And if you click on the arrows next to each of these, you'll see that it goes even deeper. The nice thing about this software is it also has a few other templates that are already included. It's got a photography one, motion graphics, visual effects, and it's super easy to create your own. So feel free to dive in and create whatever structure works best for you. I'm gonna go back over to new project and hit create project. As you can see, it just automatically creates a folder on here. It's got the, the date, the project name, client, and then the name of the video that we input in before. And if I open this up, you can see it just automatically creates all these folders for me. So I've got my production one, I've got my post, I've got my delivery, edits, final, all just included in here. So now I can just start dragging and dropping all of my footage, audio, assets, everything into here and have it automatically organized in one place. Another quick tip for this is if it's a project you're gonna be editing off a lot and you're editing on a Mac, what you can do is you can actually grab this folder over here and drag it over to this favorites bar and just put it right there. And that's basically gonna bookmark it on the left here. So now no matter where I am, I can automatically just click on that and immediately be brought back to this. So now that we've gone ahead and got our folders all organized on our desktop, I'm gonna show you how I like to organize my bins within Premiere Pro. Basically what I've done is just created a base project file and then I save this somewhere on my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this now just to show you what I have inside. What you can see over here in the project panel is that I've already got my whole bin structure laid out. This is because I went in previously and created this whole structure once. And so now anytime I wanna start a new project, I can just open this up, add in my footage and assets and, and music and everything involved and then instead of doing file save, I go to file and then I click save as. That way I can just open up that project file and have all my bins without having to recreate them every time. Just like that, no more messy projects, no more spending time trying to sort through all your footage. You can just keep it organized and all in one place so that it's easy to find and collaborate with other people. Go ahead and check out the links below to download Post Haste, completely free like I said before, and I'll also have a link to my template that you can download there as well. Good luck and I'll see you again next week.